So you want to backpack around the world, but you want to know how much it's going to cost you. This is a question that I get quite often. And in this video, we're going to be talking about travel and expenses, but in an area that many people overlook. This video is all about the pre-travel expenses that you should consider. Number one is your backpack. This is probably going to be your second largest expense when it comes to pre-travel expenses. Now, you do not want to go cheap when it comes to your backpack. Think of it as your, your house that you're lugging around with you throughout your travels. Everything that you own, everything that's important to you is going to be in this backpack which will be on your back and traveling around with you wherever you are going to be traveling to. It's very important that you choose a backpack that is right for you and your body type. Once you've found the bag that's perfect for you, purchase some really good locks to go along with that bag so you can protect that big investment of yours. The next expense are toiletries and supplies. Now you don't want to go overboard here because shampoo, conditioner, body wash, toothpaste, all that stuff exists in other countries. So once you get to your destination, you can purchase all of those there. What I would recommend is bringing along just travel size shampoo, conditioner, toothpaste, etc. so that it gets you started basically. And I mean, if you want to brush your teeth on a long flight, you can do that. Just bring those little travel size toothpaste with you and buy the rest when you get to your destination. Number three is a very important one, vaccinations. Now what's worse than getting a needle or two? getting sick during your travels. It sucks. It really sucks. This is coming from me firsthand because I have been sick several times. I think I've been sick on four continents. Yes. And I mean brutally sick, like ended up in the hospital, almost had to come home several times. It's not fun. You can call a travel clinic and make an appointment with a specialist where you'll go in and they'll actually talk to you about all the destinations you're going to and recommend the vaccines that you should get. And then they will go ahead and give you each vaccine. I would recommend making this appointment about three months before you leave for your travels because some vaccines you have to go back for uh, a second or even third dose. And also some vaccines take a while for them to start working. Number four, your flights. This one is probably going to be your biggest expense. Having said that, there are ways that you can save pretty big on flights. There are some tips and tricks that I have shared in past videos and blog posts, which I will link in the description box below. Number five, insurance. Do not travel without it. <laughs> travel insurance is so important. I never travel without it. Doesn't matter if I am leaving the country for a day or a week or a month or a year, it does not matter. Always travel with travel insurance, please. The next one are visas. Now, a visa is basically a big stamp that takes up one whole page in your passport, and this will allow you to get into a country. What I would recommend is heading on over to that government website and click on something like travel and visas and documents required. Click on your country that you're heading to and see if you need a visa. If you need a visa ahead of time, then you will have to send out your passport to the embassy of the country you are heading to, and you'll probably need, I'd give yourself at least three to four weeks um, before you are leaving to the, on your travels um, to send out your passport and then get it back. The other option is to arrive in the country you're gonna be traveling around in, and you would get the visa upon arrival stamped into your passport right at the immigration area. And last but not least, not least because you absolutely need this thing to leave your country, period, your passport. If you do not have a passport that is valid at least six months from when you come home from your trip, then you're probably going to have to renew it. Now this isn't always the case, again you want to check uh, with the country that you're traveling to. Um, it will say if you need to have a valid passport for six months or more from when you return home. Um, and if you if you do need a new passport, then you're gonna have that expense as well. And it, again, it just depends on the country that you come from. But for me, as a Canadian, it costs about 120 to 150, depending on how many pages I want in my passport and then it, I'm good for 10 years. <laughs> and those are basically all of your pre-travel expenses. I hope this video helps with your travel planning and I hope that for those of you who never considered all these 
additional expenses that do come with travel. Now, maybe you'll need a little bit extra time to save up for those travels of yours, but it's all worth it. Wait, before you go anywhere, don't forget to subscribe so you never miss out on any upcoming adventures. Happy travels. Thank you.